<laughs> What's going on, people? What's going on? I'm glad we're here. I thought we wouldn't make it. A lot of complaints. A lot of complaints. They complain because we said Black Lives Matter. Thousands of complaints. To be honest with you, I'm shocked that that many, that many of them know how to write. <laughs> They sent in thousands of angry letters. Hopefully, if I annoy them today, they can progress on to words. <laughs> it should be beautiful. It's amazing. They even wrote complaints about me. That's what upsets me. What did I say to offend anybody? You think I came out here and said something really inflammatory, like Winston Churchill was black? By the way, he was. <laughs> I can prove it. You don't believe me? When was the last time you met a white man named Winston? <laughs> Winston, a Jamaican name, I what I'm to know. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I've got proof Mr. Churchill was black. What color is his statue? Huh? <laughs> what, well, I think it just tanned over the years? Huh? Is that, is that what you think? The thing is this, right? I'm going to be fair. Not everybody who has a problem with Black Lives Matter is genuinely racist. Some of them are angry because Marxists have infiltrated and they go in and they destroy buildings in central London. But I'm trying to say this. We aren't trying to protest and destroy buildings, okay? Black people have real problems. That's not us. I can prove. Look, in Bristol, you see where that statue got taken down? That statue? None of the people there was black. You know how I know? Because they did it in front of the police and nobody got arrested, tased, or pepper sprayed. That wasn't us, right? <laughs> you can't blame us for the statues being destroyed. We don't have time for that stuff. That was not jerk chicken and jello rice. That was organic muesli, okay? <laughs> that was not Baba Tunde. That was not Tyrone. That was Tarquin, right? Just come, guys. Just take down the statue and take down capitalism, okay? Listen. You can blame us for some of the looting, okay? I'm from Enns. I'm from Croydon. I've seen Mandem stew. I've seen Mandem loot. Times are hard. What you can't blame us for, right? What I've never seen happen in the ends, in any part of London, is man them beefing a statue. <laughs> never seen, how would that go? Yo, big man, what are you looking at? What, you think you can just stand there? <laughs> no, because you're made of metal, you think you're hard. <laughs> Don't try it, brother, I know where you live. It doesn't happen. And I tell you what, you try, you know, I love the way ITV took a stand, they said, look, we stand with Black Lives Matter. But if I was in charge, I would have done it differently. I would have sent an email to everybody who complained, and it would just say, we understand you viewers are offended, but all viewers matter. <laughs> Let's see how they like it then. But in all seriousness, I think it's time we open our minds, OK? I think the problem is internet keeps us in algorithms and echo chambers, so you're only surrounded by people who agree with you. So I advise if you're right wing, get left wing friends. If you're left wing, get right wing friends. If you're middle class, get working class friends. And if you're vegan, Get friends. Okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't want to offend any vegans. I understand that you guys can't have friends. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm making fun of vegans because they're the only group of people that will not threaten me. <laughs> we need to them, guys. But in all honesty, I, news, we're, we're breaking boundaries every day with this show and in business, right? Two Muslim men just bought Asda. And people on Twitter have gone mad. I go into a debate about it. I try to tell someone, they're like, no, you don't talk to me, you muzzy. <laughs> to be honest, muzzy isn't even offensive. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> it sounds like something you buy your kids. Like, oh, look, Darren, look what we got you. We got you a little muzzy. <laughs> let's feed it, Darren, let's feed it. Oh, no, he will eat. It's Ramadan. <laughs> so you Muslims are coming over here, converting our children, building mosquitoes everywhere. I said, you mean mosques? I said, that's the one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my building moss all over the gaff. How would you like if we went over to your country? Because apparently we all come from the same country. Immigrantistan, right? <laughs> National population, too many. <laughs> National language, foreign, mate, right? How would you like if we went over to your country, Saudi Arabia, which is the capital of Pakistan, right next to Poland and Romania, right? How would you like if we went over to your country, Saudi Arabia, and built a mosque over there? I said, oh, a mosque in Saudi Arabia? Scandalous. <laughs> So listen, Mike, you know what else I can't stand? I said, let me guess, fact-based information, sobriety, employment, personal hygiene. He said, no, right? You see, Muzzies trying to sneak in your Halloween meat to our shop. <laughs> I said, you mean halal? He said, that's the one, oi, oi. Halal, shmalal, ramadamadin, dog, come on. What? You know what halal meat is? It's disgusting. I said, no, it's not. He said, Mike, do you know what it is? I said, I've been Muslim my entire life. But please, explain to me. You seem to have some gravitas on the issue. He said, yeah, I'll tell you what halal is, right? I'll tell you what halal is. You see these muzzies, right? These, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, boy, I can do it too. <laughs> you see these muzzies, right? They get the car, right? They get the car, right? They make it face Birmingham. Because that's where Muzzies face when they pray Birmingham and Bradford, the two holy cities, right? They make it face Birmingham, 
they say boom shakalaka and then they kill the cow and that's where your halal meat comes from mike animals that were killed i said bro you understand that all meat comes from animals that were killed they're not lining up and donating the stuff like there's no car going hey boys but anybody like some rump steak it doesn't work that way so yeah well mike i'm not religious and i refuse to eat religious chicken Wallah, he said this, religious chicken. Apparently it's a real problem, you know? You go to Nando's, get yourself a cheeky platter, the box explodes, infidel! <laughs> you must repent, <laughs> or you'll be grilled in hell like me with a peri-peri glaze. <laughs> now people, before I go, I wanna say, I hope I win tonight because it will make history, but I'm already sad because I know that if I do, people will deconstruct it and say that I only won because I'm black. The same way they said that Alicia only gave me her golden buzzer because I'm black, even though I'm the first black person she's given a buzzer to in three years, right? But I'll tell you this, if I win, it won't be because I'm black, it's because I've worked hard. And also if I win, it will be the end of white people winning Britain's Got Talent. Because you know what they say. <laughs> That's right. Once you go black, there's no coming back. <laughs> but once you try Nigeria, no one can meet the criteria. <laughs>